E2 reactions involve concerted proton transfer and loss of a leaving group. Alkyl halides make great substrates for E2, and the reagent should be a strong base. Now, the base is going to attack a beta proton. Remember, the carbon connected to the leaving group is the alpha carbon. Carbons connected to the alpha carbon are beta carbons. So I have five different beta protons that we could attack here. And really that applies to two different choices. I could remove from the more substituted position or the less substituted position. If I do my proton transfer at the more substituted beta proton, those are the two arrows involving the proton transfer. Here is where the base forms a sigma bond with the beta proton. And here is the pair of electrons from the beta proton becoming the pi bond. That exceeds the octet on the alpha carbon, and so we have to have loss of a leaving group. And that would give us this alkene. This is called the Zaitsev product. And it gives you the more substituted and therefore the more stable alkene. And just remember, it is curved arrow number two that forms the pi bond. The pair of electrons that forms the pi bond in the product, this pi bond here, starts out as a sigma bond between the beta proton and the beta carbon. That's why proton transfer is important, and that's why your reagent has to be a strong base. On the other hand, if my base attacks a proton from the less substituted beta carbon, and we get loss of a leaving group, then we end up with the less substituted alkene. This is called a Hoffman elimination. So this is the less stable product because it is less substituted. Now, whether an elimination reaction is Zaitsev or Hoffman refers to the regiochemistry. Wouldn't it be great if you had control over the regiochemistry? It turns out you do. Your choice of base will determine the regiochemistry. A bulky base, like tert butoxide, the reagent you'd use is TBOK. That's potassium tert butoxide. That bulky base favors Hoffman elimination. Having these three bulky methyl groups near the uh, base, the lone pair that acts as the base, means that tert butoxide is going to go after the less substituted protons. Right, and so that's why you get Hoffman. The non-bulky base, like hydroxide or methoxide or ethoxide, these will all favor the more stable product. And so they will attack the more substituted proton to give you Zaitsev. If I react my 2-bromobutane then with potassium tert butoxide, I get my Hoffman product, the less substituted alkene, 1-butene. Why? It's because the bulky base
has to go after the less sterically hindered beta proton. On the other hand, if I use sodium ethoxide, well, sodium ethoxide is not bulky, that'll give me the Zaitsev product, 2-butene. The reason for that is, being non-bulky, my ethoxide can now go after one of the more substituted hydrogens, or beta protons, to eliminate there. Now you try one. Here's an exercise. We've got 2-methyl-1-bromocyclohexane as our substrate. In one case, we do an E2 reaction by treating it with sodium hydroxide. In another case, we do an E2 reaction by treating it with terbutoxide. Draw the mechanism, including proton transfer and loss of a leaving group, for the substrate with each base, and draw the formula or the chemical structure of the product in each case. As usual, pause the video, do the work, and resume to see the answers. So here are the answers. NaOH is really an Na plus ion and a hydroxide ion. The hydroxide ion is a strong base and it's not bulky. So this is our alpha carbon and we have two beta carbons. We're going to have to go after the beta proton that is more substituted. That's here. So our proton transfer will look like this. And then there's our loss of a leaving group. And we get our 1-methyl cyclohex-1-ene, the Zaitsev product. With terbutoxide, it's the bulky base that's going to do a Hoffman elimination. In other words, it's going to take one of our more substituted beta protons. So there's a proton transfer, there's my curved arrow that forms the pi bond. Forming the pi bond exceeds the octet on the alpha carbon, and so we have loss of a leaving group. So we get our Hoffman product.